Okay, everybody, instead of wasting a couple minutes trying to say an excuse on why I haven't uploaded full gameplay in a while, let's just, let's just get into this game. Okay, so we're up against Golon, playing Jing Tian, and it's been a lot of time since the Jing Tian buff, I know, but he, my overall consensus is he's better, but his early game still sucks because um, he runs out of mana, and if you go Mage's Busting, you get wrecked. If you go Warrior's Busting, you get destroyed. There's not really... I haven't found a good start on Jing Tian. I've tried everything. I've tried Tier 2 Defense. I've tried Celestial Start. I've tried Mage's Blessing Bancroft, Mage's Blessing Boots. I've tried Boots Start. I've tried Bancroft Start. I've tried Mage's Blessing Bancrofts, Warrior's Blessing Bancrofts, Warrior's Blessing Double Chalice. I've tried I've tried everything in the book, man. And it's it all depends on how the early game goes. And sometimes your opponent's going to be aggressive. Sometimes they're not. And you can't really decide much. Oh, I guess he's going to pause. Um, I guess I can keep talking about the early imaging. He's in gold something. Oof. Okay. Um, this might not make a good full gameplay then because it's not really fair. Probably because I'm queuing on a Friday morning. I don't know who else would be queuing on Friday morning the more I think about it. Friday morning NA times. I guess only me and this guy's queuing. Um, yeah, but Jin Tian's late game. His late game's extraordinarily strong after the buff. And he can beat a lot of gods. Because he can just instantly blow them up with his ult. Like Jin Tian's ult hits... It's super hard. I've had instances where my ult did more damage than like a full charge of mirror ult would do, which is insane. That makes no sense. If I can get some poke here, that'd be nice. Nice. Okay, so you can see I'm already on mana. Luckily, I have one more mana potion. Plus, he's lower, so it looks like I'm gonna outpush him. I'll try to upload more full game to this, but I'm not gonna promise this time because last time I promised, I didn't upload for a long time. Oh, those minions hurt. Let's try and keep my passive procced. Got my ult. But I don't have mana for it. I have 6.7 MP5. Which means about every six, 60 seconds I can use an ability. Yeah, looks like I'm gonna have to back. That sucks. But, I do get my full Bancroft, so that's whatever. Um, my mistake was taking all that minion damage, but whatever. We didn't get first blooded, which is, I guess, is what matters. Like, Jing Tian, I kind of treat it like Fafnir. Except, Jing Tian has a better early game than Fafnir, so it's like, you're, you're waiting till the late game. But, Jing Tian's late game isn't as strong as Fafnir, so it's kind of like... Jing Tian's like a worse He's like He has a better early game than Fafnir But his late game isn't as strong So you can't only rely on the late game Like you do with Fafnir So it's kind of like eh Also he just used his leap I'm pretty sure That sucks Might be able to throw him into my Phoenix Oh never mind. Sucks you got both buffs With full health I just go call an early game. Uh, I take a lot of damage, but he's about to get one shot by my ult. Yep. My ult hit him there for only 134, actually. Because it is only level 1. The ult's not great until it's, like, maxed. Yeah, the main reason... I haven't uploaded these full gameplays because I tried recording a bunch and all of them were really, really bad. So, like, they were bad, like, not, like, not, like, losses. They were just bad where it's, like, there was no good information you could take out of them. It was just me getting landslided by tower sitters, basically. Like, no kills happening and I couldn't do anything and then they'd get one kill and win the game. It's like, well, that wasn't very helpful.
I like doing little odd attack cancels between Jing Tian's abilities, although I don't think it helps too much. Mainly because... Oh, I might die here. Mainly because... Jing Tian's wind up on his autos are really, really long. Now, I could stay or I could back. I think the range on his one is a little dangerous for me to stay, but in that mode, I should be able to stay, maybe? Okay. Oof. There's a lot of minions I missed out on. A really good item on Jing Tian is Spear of the Magus as well because his one is tick damage, his ult is tick damage. So you hit them with the one, then the ult, and your ult does true damage, which helps a lot. You know, until they build a lot of defense, but still. Spear of the Magus usually gives more pen than Obsidian Shard up until they have about two to three defense items. But Spear of the Magus plus other uh, pen items can give more pen than Obsidian Shard alone. Or Obsidian Shard mixed with Spear of the Magus. It's weird how pen is calculated. It is percent reduction first, so like demonic grip. Then it's uh, flat reduction, like Spear of the Magus. Then percent pen, like Obsidian. Then flat pen, like just the stat. So if you do some, whoops, if you do some quick math, kind of tell what items work together really well, what items don't. Oh, I forgot that gives him CC immunity. Still takes the damage, but still. Wow, uh, his auto's hurt. Ooh, that hit me? Wow, okay. That's quite the range on that ability. Now we can finally get Breastplate, which will help with our mana issues quite a bit. We're ahead by like 20 gold. Alright, <laughs> I'll take it. Ooh, we took our buff again. However, I think red buff is up. Did the arches seriously not die? Wow. Auto's hit slightly less than his. He's gonna go rage mode again. Dang, he literally gets that all the time. I'm out in two seconds. If I can get him in my ult, he's dead. The thing is that he has his leap up. Which makes it difficult to get him in my ult. Ooh, the tick damage maybe? No. Yes, okay. That was close, man. It's because I don't have any pen. He has tier 2 defense with warriors that he was able to almost live through that. These engagements are really close. I'm not, I think minions killed him. Because I'm pretty sure the one on, the tick damage on my one doesn't last that long. Malt hit him there for... Oh, 408. I think I looked at the wrong ability, the first engagement, actually. Yeah, so Malt hit him for 408 there. So half of it's being mitigated right now, which is why we need to get our pen. I wonder how much HP5 Genji's gives. I don't know the percents of Kukul and passive, but Genji's gives 40 MP5s. I wonder how much HP5 he gets from that. Must be a lot. Might try to make him go rage mode and then just get out here. Ooh, really unfortunate I got hit by that. I'm all up in eight. Whoops. It's bad. Not that bad though. Good damage. Might be able to kill him. 
Ooh. I wasn't sure if he was going to go back or forward. Nice. Mal hit him there for 372, so less because he finished his defense. Wait, didn't he have his finished defense last time? I don't remember. Once I get my pen, we'll be shredding him with our ult. Even if he gets beads, and that's a great part of the Shing Tian buff. Almost got tower. I do somewhat like Polly on Xing Tian. I like Polly on most guardians, but it's only if I have room for it. Or if I'm having a real big problem with uh, getting the objectives. Gotta go back. He has a lot of pressure. I can't stop him from taking my buff every single time it spawns. Would a thorns be good in this? I feel like maybe it would. Even though it reflects magical damage. I feel like if I pop it right before he goes rage mode, like, he's still gonna take a lot of damage. I guess matchmaking isn't fair queuing at this time. So it's like, but this guy, if this guy's in gold, he's doing very well. Like, he's doing better than the people I see in diamond. So, I'm sure he'll get promoted soon. If matchmaking is actually decent. That's probably the reason he's against me, is his elo's in diamond, but just his rank is in gold. So he would only, he would only need a few wins to, to, uh, get up there, you know? Whoops, whoops, whoops. Oh, I almost messed that up. His beats now. So if I tried baiting him here, it wouldn't work out very well. I mean, it could, but... Ooh, that probably just doing work. I need wards. I'm gonna lose my tower. Can't do anything about that. Uh, Divine Rune would actually help quite a bit in this match as well, because he's healing a lot just from his HP 5, Chalices, and po Health Potions. That's how he's able to sustain. It's like, even though he doesn't have a heal in his kit, the, the passive sustain he's getting is worth the Divine Rune. Seriously, like, each Chalice heals, what, 250 health? And he gets three of those? That's a big heal. Every single engagement. I think it's worth the Divine Rune. He ain't every single buff, man. Like, he's... Like, I'm 3-0, but he's not far behind because he's gotten every single buff, and I can't really stop him from getting all these buffs. I'd be able to take Tower here, though. But I have my pen now, which is super good. In trouble. In trouble. Ooh. Dang, man. He hurts. How much am I all in him there for? 432? I feel like my... Did my alt hit for 800 unmitigated a couple minutes ago? Now it's only hitting for like 700 unmitigated? That doesn't add up. Okay. I guess I didn't hit all the ticks. Or it's because it did, I didn't get the throw damage. That's probably it. That's probably all it is. Since he beats, I don't get the throw damage. I never tested how that works. Now after the buff. So I guess if they beat, they don't take the throw damage. Man, he's taking my buff again. I can't really can't stop him. He's like taking my buffs on cooldown. just gonna leap over the wall which is kind of annoying or he might fight me go rage mode he's getting that every five seconds which is super annoying i 
Bye, do no damage. <laughs> Oof, man. Good going strong. Is that double defense? He only has flat pen. That's why I hate. It's like, yeah, you have double defense, but I have pen. And you only have 15 pen. I have one defense on me. You're still doing that much damage? Okay. Should be mitigating over half, right? Yeah, I am. But he still has just so much high base damage, you know? Wow, I'm literally dead. Okay. Uh, he's sustaining so much with those potions. I need a man. Not even like for the passive, just for the base stats. I mean, I could get Celestial also, but that would get destroyed by his tick damage on his two. We must keep things light. Hmm. Probably going for Bull Demon, but it's like, what am I supposed to do? Losing my buff so many times really put me behind, man. He's not going for Bull Demon, okay. And the fact that he's able to get his Rage Mode like every 5 seconds is kind of difficult to deal with. Fucks, I missed that. What's he building now into Crusher, I, I'm guessing? Just get out, make him waste the form, I think. Man, I hate tower camping, but it's like... I, I do no damage to this guy, since he has so much da- Since he has so much, like... Defense. <laughs> He's able to get out of my abilities so well, too. I'm already half health. Has beats, I guess. Not for free, though. Again. Hey, I got a buff. I hate playing like this, man. But it's like, I really have no damage. How much magical defense does he have with just those two items? One, fifth, one, 207. Okay. No need. I am already hmm. Oops. Let's see. I could now. Now here's the thing, right? Spear of the Obsidian against double defense or triple defense is better by itself. But if I were to get another pen item, like present pen or just something that applies before Spear of the Magus, then it would actually be okay. It'd be better than Obsidian. But it's like, there's not that many pen items. There's not that many pen choices. Looks like I'm kind of stuck with having to switch to Obsidian, probably. Now we gotta switch to Obsidian. He's not doing that much damage now, though, either. Because now that I have double defense, he only has flat pen. He has no percent pen. Cooldowns are still so long, even though I have max cooldown as well. Might be able to kill him here? Come on, so close. So close. 
But why did that not root me? That was weird. Are you serious? Wow, he actually got away. Okay. <sighs> I basically used my three, right? And I had to use my three again instantly, but the second I was going to use my three the second time, he was going to dash. So there's nothing I could do because it's like my three doesn't have enough range to hit him where he's going to dash to. So whether I waited or used it right away didn't matter. Back already? Dang. He only has flat pen against 186. So let's see. That's 10, 25, 40. So he has 40 pen against my 186 defense. So why am I not? Why am I still taking so much damage? This is the type of stuff I don't understand. I literally have 80 pen. I guess it's only, you know, it's not really percent, I guess. But it's like, I should be doing way more damage than he is. Well, that's weird. But I'm not, which is really annoying. I'm not healing anything because he has about... He has about 90% uh, healing reduction in his kit. Which is absolutely ridiculous. He did a really good job of going for those blue buffs. Guess I'll switch this out and get. Can't afford it right away, but we'll get power potion later. I wish there were more pen options, man, because obsidian sucks. Because it's like, even though it reduces 40% or whatever of his of his protections he still has a lot left over you know that's the problem i really wish they added more pen options into the game i don't get it how he only has these items and I have 221 defense. And he's doing that much damage. Like, alright. Like, I'm at the... Like, it's confusing. It's like, is Pen even worth it? Like, literally just go raw damage. And you do more damage. Like, seriously. Ooh, my ult hit him there for 528. That's not, that's not that much either. Mm. Why do I always get these long games? I don't want these long games. Are you going to be in Titan all game or fight in open? I'll fight in open, man. Uh, uh, I hate smite so many times. Oh, that's that's also another reason I haven't been uploading that much. Is literally my love for smite has been has been taking a huge nosedive, man. This meta is so bad. I really dislike this dual meta. All right, if this guy wants to fight in open, I guess we'll do that. Thing is that you have fire minions, buddy. That's kind of hard to deal with. He literally got 
all of his health back, or all of his health back with that shield. Oh my god, man. How much? I thought that was nerfed like crazy. He got a huge shield there. It's like I would fight him in the open, but at the same time, it's like he has fire minions. I'm gonna get destroyed by those fire minions if I fight in the open. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta find another game to make videos with Smite because I don't know. Smite's just. It's not as fun as it used to be. I still love it. I'm probably gonna stick with it till Smite dies one day, but yeah, overall, it's not as fun as it used to be. I guess that again. It's hard to fight him when he gets that big of a shield, you know, and then that much power. Like seriously. Yes, don't guile. So let me get this straight. This guy has 25 pen against my 225 defense and he's still shredding me? Alright, forget this. I don't need pen. I guess I don't, I guess with this meta, or I don't know, even know the way this game works, pen is useless, just get raw damage. If this works, I'm going to be upset. Literally, why get pen when you can double your damage with one item, right? And that doesn't matter if it's mitigated. He's gonna get his giant shield again. It's actually working. <laughs> oh my god. It's actually kinda working. Kinda working. In keyword. No, you got out of range of it. Ever so slightly. Oh my god, no. Well, Rav 2D, I guess, is the way to go. Why get pen, right? Just literally double your damage with one item. I cannot believe that this is working. He has double defense with Stone Agaia, and it's like, why get pen? It doesn't add any damage. When raw power is more useful. Ugh. I get that? That sucks. Gets, he gets that rage mode again! For crying out loud. Alright, I won the fight before that one, then he wins this fight. This is so back and forth. I don't even blame him for going straight for the Phoenix. This is 30 minute game. At this point, we're just taking turns winning fights. <sighs> I just want a normal, like... I don't know, like it used to be easy to get normal games and now it's not. Almost all my games are long or and or just not good. Just it's just it's honest it's just the gods I play. It's just the guardians are not meant for this meta. 
And by playing Guardians, you stall out the game. And I, I hate doing it now. It used to be fun, but now it's not. He doesn't have that much rage built up right now. What's he doing? He's just trying to get his rage built up. That way he can fight me. And that's when I have to run away. That's what he's using the minions for. Oh, that's bad. How did you have that up again? I can fight him, but I can't fight him when he gets that rage mode like twice a fight, you know? It's really difficult to deal with. Man. This isn't fun for me. This isn't fun for him. Honestly, maybe I should just have six. Can't believe that this whole Rod 2D thing's working, though. Soul Reaver would maybe help more than Rav 2D, but it's like the fights only matter when he's below half health. It sucks because all my dam most of my damage is dot damage, which triggers Kokolan. Uh, rage more which means that i'm actually helping him get his his berserker form more often which is really bad for me uh, man it's just it's, it's not going well he's gonna walk into the wave get his berserker form and then i can't fight him again i have to run away this is literally all that's happening all game i can't fight you when you're like that so i have to run away and then once your form runs out, I'm just going to chase you back. I'm just going to fight him. I don't want to stall this game any longer. <laughs> oh, I can't though. Oh my god. I can life stuff these minions maybe. It's like I don't want to stall this game any longer. I'm not going to back. I'm going to try and make it here. I could just back, but it's like, I'd rather just the game end. Getting my passive. But he's getting so much health from his chalices and stuff. Oh my god. Oh, that's game. There we go. There's your full gameplay. Yeah, I gotta... I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just want Season 6 to drop because this meta sucks, man. It's like, I don't want to tower sit. I don't want my opponents to tower sit. I really hate these 30-minute long games. It's like, every single dual game is just miserable. Alright, have a good one, guys.